हेलो एंड वेलकम टू फ्री वी बी ए टिप्स टूडे वील बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग वट आर वेरिएबल्स वेरिएबल्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन एनी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो एज यू कैन सी इन दिस डाइग्राम देर आर फ्यू कंटेनर्स ओवर हेयर और पॉट ओवर हेयर वेयर यू कैन सी दैट देर आर सम अल्फाबेट्स आर रिटर्न ओवर हेयर आई जे के एल एम एन सो जस्ट टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड इट बेटर और इन अ लेम एंड टर्म दीज आर वेरिएबल्स and the value stored in it is are these containers so for example if i put some value over here in this first container which is called as i then whenever i want to recall this value or retrieve this value somewhere it will return that that particular value unless we don't take out that material from the container and put something else so let us understand this with a better example and i hope that would make you more clear over here so there are different kind of variables so we will be using two very commonly used variables which are integer and string so let us define something over here declare or define dim i as integer and dim j as string so what we are telling the programming language over here that we are declaring i as a integer so we can store integer values like 1 2 3 4 5 the numbers in in i and we can store string in j so it will it can have a uh, alphanumeric also or it can have a name or anything like that so let us play with these variables over here let me define something like i equal to 5 and let us put value for j so whenever we are defining or we are assigning a string to a variable we always have to use these quotes over here so let's say deepak and now i want to check what the value is so either we can do msgbox j over here like this or we can also see the output over here only we can just go to view and choose this immediate window come over here and then just output over here debug dot print and then we can put i over here so let's run this code by moving your cursor in between this sub and end sub and clicking on this play button or hitting f5 so it is returning 5 let me just clear the output and print j now and just run this program so it it is returning debug which is very obvious that it will return debug so let's play little more over here let me change the value of j to aman and run the code again so it is still returning deepak because the ne the value is changed after this so we can if we put the debug dot print j just after aman then it should return so aman is coming over here similarly we ha have different kind of uh, variables like we have boolean as boolean which will return true and false so you can just go through types of variable so whenever you are confused about variable or you have a question about variable you can always refer to this particular diagram this will make it very simple for you to understand variable that how the variables work how the values are stored inside a variable like a container and then you can return that value i hope this will help you understand the variables in any programming language if you have any questions you can ask me in comments and i would reply as soon as i can thank you for watching and have a nice day ahead bye bye